517 and Kirsty, I have to say, I was going to mow my lawn yesterday afternoon until I walked out of my car and then I wasn't going to. Yeah, not a good idea to do that. Yard work yesterday and yard work again today. It's just too hot. I mean, really, even just being outside and doing physical activity for 30 minutes could put you at risk for dealing with heat exhaustion. That's why we're always thinking, of course, of our first responders when we have a hot day like this because they've got to get outside and do their job as well. Uh, so just keep in mind, if you uh, maybe have a mailman walking by that look hot, maybe give him a water bottle today because it is going to be a struggle. If you suffer from allergies, we've got a double whammy because I looked at our policy forecast uh, from yesterday. The most recent numbers does show here that the grass pollen is up, but also it's weed and mold spores that are really uh, causing issues. And this time of year, it's not surprising to see that. A uh, late summer, early fall is when the mold spore, or excuse me, the weed pollen count really climbs. We're talking about ragweed. Anytime we're warm, muggy, and if we have rain in the area, we can oftentimes see the mold spore count stay high as well. And then our grass pollen also was moderate. So unfortunately, this week, I do think if you are noticing some symptoms, you might not catch a whole lot of relief from your allergy symptoms over the next couple of days. A live look outside, we're not getting much relief from the heat. Overnight, we actually tied a record for the warmest night. Uh, so keep in mind, we never dropped below 73 degrees last night, which means we tied the record here for warm overnight temperatures. 74 right now, winds are out of the southwest at 10 miles per hour. And what we deal with today is just the heat again. So not a big rain chance. We'll be breezy, but not too much. It's really just the feels like temperatures reaching the mid to upper 90s this afternoon. Bus stop forecast then for the kids. Uh, remember, we're already in the 70s now. We're going to climb to 90 by the time they're getting off the bus, and it will feel even warmer than that because it's so muggy out there. 71 degrees in Troy, 73 in Xenia, 72. Good morning to you in Greenville. Big picture, we're quiet and dry still, but we do have a boundary off to our north. That front tomorrow is what slides in, and that front will trigger showers and storms. Keep in mind, we have a lot of moisture in place, so that means when those storms get going, they could produce some localized flooding. So that's going to be something we watch for tomorrow afternoon. Good news is they do look to move quickly. Live Doppler 7 radar is scanning the skies for you this morning, and even though we're dry, as I mentioned, we'll use it tomorrow to track those thunderstorms. Future cash shows a lot of sunshine this morning. Later this afternoon, after lunch, we'll see some fair weather clouds. Future cast wants to spit out a stray shower. I can't completely rule that out, but I think in general, your outdoor plans will be just fine. Temperature Wise, we're up to 90 today. We will see wind gusts around 20 or 25 miles per hour later this afternoon. And some cities after school, Xenia 90 will be around 89 in Sydney and 90 in Fairborn. Tonight, again, very warm and muggy. 73 overnight with just a few clouds starting to increase. Tomorrow afternoon, we're in the upper 80s, and tomorrow afternoon, we will track thunderstorms. Damaging winds and flash flooding are the two uh, biggest impacts we have from those storms. A marginal risk, which means overall our severe weather threat isn't too high. Five-day forecast here. We're going to see temperatures finally drop on Thursday. We'll look at your weekend in just a minute. Now we bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's check in with Sergeant Mark. And good morning, Kirsty. We had a good start to the morning drive a few minutes ago. We talked to several area police departments. And uh, here's a live shot of the ODOT camera. This is Interstate 75. This camera is right on the Warren-Montgomery County line. It's a 12-mile drive north on 75 from this camera into downtown Dayton. According to what we're seeing on the road sensors, it should take about 12 minutes. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer, WHIO Team Traffic. It is 520, 74 degrees. The city of Kettering gives a boost to an already approved budget. What improvements are being made in the city and where? A new alert systems being installed in cars. Uh, these are intended to help save children's lives. 